Hi guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will discuss about Hello Concrete Blocks. The main contents we are going to discuss the introduction, raw materials used for the manufacturing purpose, and classification, applications, advantages, disadvantages, and finally, reference code. First, we will discuss about introduction about Hello Concrete Blocks. In general, these Hello Concrete Blocks are used for the building internal and external walls. These concrete blocks saves time in building walls due to its large dimensions. Due to the load carrying capacity, these blocks plays an important role in the construction industry. So these are made using molds and suitable additives depending on your location and your project. It is believed that concrete blocks are one of the most popular construction materials. Okay. These are used in the construction industry almost everywhere. Here, cement is used for bonding components in order to produce stronger and longer life hollow blocks. Next, we talk about raw materials used for the manufacturing of these hollow blocks. We can use three combinations for the manufacturing. The first combination is cement 9 to 12%, sand 40%, crust stone 45%, water 3%. With this combination, we can get heavy and strong block. Next combination is cement 9 to 12%, slag 80 to 90%, water 3%. With this, we will get light and not so strong material. Next, cement 9 to 12%, river sand 10 to 20%, crushed stone 30 to 40%, slag 25 to 50%, and water 3%. With this combination, we will get little light and strong material. You can see here in this table. With the block size of 400 by 200 by 200 mm, we get 16 to 18 kg for this first combination, 10 to 12 kg for second combination and 13 to 14 kg for third combination. Next we talk about manufacturing of these hollow blocks. Equipments required. In small scale backyard block making, no special equipments is generally needed because the blocks can be made simply by hand and simple wood or steel molds are used. But with certain equipment, the production process can be facilitated and quality of the bricks also improve. So if you are small scale industry, don't look for these equipments because it costs more. But if you are in the medium range, you can purchase these equipments. Let's talk about them. Mixers. The quality of concrete blocks depends largely on the type of mixer and period of mixing. So, these free fall and revolving drum type mixers are not suitable because of the semi dry nature of the mix. So, these type of pan mixers have quick moving action and thus recommended. Trough mixers are also suitable. So, you can use trough mixers or pan mixers for this manufacturing purpose. Next, we talk about block making machines. If you have a small scale industry, you can prefer hand operating molding equipment. But if you have a medium scale or large scale, you can prefer these a claying machine or fully mechanized or stationary machines. Okay, next we talk about manufacturing process. Maybe you wonder how a block is made. It is made of water, cement and aggregate mixed together with a standard ratio. About a machine which produces hollow blocks. It is called hollow block machine or brick making machine. We have discussed it before. And next. This machine has different molds and each mold can produce a different shape and size of the block, concrete block. So this hollow block machine uses pressure and vibration to compress the motor. So the produced hollow blocks have better quality. The pressing force is usually 150 bar and the vibration force is normally 36.5 kg. After 24 hours of drying, the blocks are put in the water for curing. The process of curing continues for 2 to 3 weeks. To give the blocks compressive strength, the blocks are used in the construction process after drying. Next we talk about sizes and rates. Standard hollow concrete blocks are available in full size as well as in the half size. According to research designs and standards organization of Indian Railways, the nominal dimension of concrete blocks are as follows. These are available in different lengths and different heights and different widths. You can combine these and say 400 by 200 by and 50 mm. Next we talk about rates. It is available at 2500 to 3000 rupee Indian rupee per cubic meter. If you don't know how to calculate how many blocks will be fitted in a cubic meter and 
cost of each block i will give a link in the description in the i button also you can go there and watch the video i have explained in the faq section you can go and watch next we talk about classification the hollow concrete blocks are defined in following grades grade a and grade b grade a type blocks is used as load bearing units and have a minimum block density of 1500 kg per meter cube these blocks are manufactured for minimum average compressive strength of 3.5 4.5 5.5, 7, 8.5, 10, 12.5, 15 Nm mm square at 28 days. Whereas grade B type of blocks is also used as load bearing units and have a block density between 1100 to 1500 kg per meter cube. These type of blocks are manufactured for minimum average compressive strength of 3.5 and 5.5 Nm per mm square. Next applications. These hollow blocks are, can be used for exterior load bearing walls, interior walls, panel walls, columns, retaining walls and compound walls. These hollow concrete blocks are in demand not only for household constructions. These are also used in the public works departments, housing boards, urban development corporations, road transport corporations, also forest departments because of these cost effectiveness. Next we talk about advantages of these hollow concrete blocks rapid execution of work in the construction extremely durable better insulators environmental friendly cost effective in masonry wall constructions low maintenance cost and reduce consumption space bonding of motor and plaster next disadvantages in the disadvantages the cost of hollow concrete block is higher than the conventional brick but overall masonry cost will be less the house built with hollow blocks without any interior reinforcement is likely to suffer damage during earthquake. The other problem with the hollow block is ability to absorb water. Appearance Unfortunately, many people still have impression that a hollow block is unsightly and utilitarian. Means these blocks are hollow, so it looks weird when people look at this. IS code books for reference. You can take a screenshot of this and and check on the internet you will get these books so this is the end of video i think you have understood about hollow concrete blocks if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment below if you like our video please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel also click the bell icon see you in the next video thank you